Hello, this is Michael McCarthy, and in this video we're going to take a look at a user file that was sent in uh, where they're trying to produce a, a pretty um, detailed and uh, very symmetrical uh, and tight hairstyle. And uh, when you're trying to do that, sometimes it's good to use uh, splines to generate uh, your start, which we've made a video above before. Um, and uh, But this user is really concerned with how to get the uh, the hairstyle to be as tight as possible to those guides and as closely reflecting. You can see that that's not quite happening there here for them. And there's a couple of reasons for that. When we go back to the guides, you can see that they, uh, they've set up really nicely. Um, the only thing is that these guides are getting propagated over the entire mesh. So the first thing to do if you have a very tight or multi-part hairstyle like this, this would probably just be you know, this portion of the hairstyle and then they might do something for what comes down around the ears or maybe around the back and do a couple of different hair caps for that. In that case you really want to take the hair cap mesh and you want to reduce it as much as you can to where the roots of those guides are kind of coming in here because otherwise it's going to get propagated all the way through to uh, the rest of the mesh and that's what's going to uh, result in having uh, a lot of interpolation and a lot of other hairs getting generated and not getting that precise hairstyle. Um, another thing that we'll see here is when I go into hair from guides, uh, if I change different root distributions, I'm not really getting much happening. And you'll see on these root, uh, root distribution flyovers, it will say um, that they're usually UV based and uh, for those ones and this cap doesn't have any UVs which can be problematic with hair generation so that's something that's also so we would want to kind of look out for so I'm going to actually just remove this and remove the ground for right now and we're going to go to the left view and just remove a lot of this mesh that we don't need for this particular hair generation so I'm going to go in and just kind of cruise around here around the back and I'll have to get these guys at the bottom. I'll take a quick look here. I could probably be a little more precise, but I think that's going to do for now. And that'll be the kind of hair cap that we use. The other thing I'm going to want to do is make sure that I have a UV map for this mesh. Now, this is probably not the best UV map. Uh, you know, I, I should definitely go in and give it a little bit better um, UVs, but at least for now it will have some sort of UV setup uh, that will work. There's a little bit of stretching and it's probably not going to give us the best result, but at least we have some UVs on this for the hair to use. Okay, so now we can go in, grab our guides from shape, and add a ground strand. So we're going to just go OX ground strands. We're going to pick that base surface and we're going to say ground strands. And they should kind of pop in a place there. Now we'll be able to add our hair from guides. So we'll go in and choose OX hair from guides. And you'll see that we get automatically a much better look, a lot closer to the guides. You can see we're getting some really nice curling through there. We'll also be able to use some of these other distribution methods that might be a little bit better than the random distribution method. So these are both random, but this one's a uniform distribution method, and you can see how uniform or definitely vertex-based is going to hold a lot closer to what our mesh is uh, or what our guides are. And vertex base can be good, especially if you trim this down. Uh, had we not trimmed it down, vertex base might not work as well. So I might choose uniform for now. Um, and we, we're getting a, a pretty good look out of uh, our hair. It's, it's getting a lot closer to what we would have uh, with the guides. Lastly, I'm going to kind of scroll down here and look into our interpolation. So under interpolation, there's a couple of things. You can say that you want to use the UV coordinates that you had, and that might snap it into place a little bit more in some of those places. Um, and you can also say that you want, don't want to interpolate the length in places. You can see we're getting some interpolation here, which may not be desirable. And if we're using interpolate length, that's again something that's more for kind of random generated hair, where you have a few guides and you're generating a lot of them over um, the hairstyle. If we turn that off, you can see that we'll lose some of those kind of um, craggly areas in the hair, and that's, that, that might kind of help us out a bit. 
Last but not least, I'm going to go down into the parting. Um, you can see that there's some areas in here down the middle that aren't kind of parting or going in the right direction, and that's because you know hairs are getting generated and interpolating over this bend angle. Uh, you can set up parts if you wish. Uh, so you can go in here and just draw out a part right down the middle, um, or you can just use the quick auto part. So let me check auto part, and you'll see right off the bat uh, we'll get a much flatter surface here. There are some that are going through the middle, um, and you know we're getting a, a much closer uh, realization of that those guides and the hairstyle that we would want there. So uh, if I just pass this up to our OX render settings and then do an OX mesh from strands, we should be able to see this in the view. I'll set this to a uh, black or gray. And I'm just going to turn off edge faces so that we can kind of see that there. And we'll go in and just increase our uh, hair count and probably maybe bring down the, uh, the size here. Yeah, I guess that's okay. And we'll just increase that hair count for the view to maybe 3K so we can see that hair uh, and how we got a nice uniform, nice uniform curls that go down here and up in the front. Uh, we have you know those nice arcs that we're looking for. So if you want to get you know a tighter hairstyle that's very close to some of the guides that you might create with splines or just with regular brushing, then those are some um, things that might help you in order to do that. Make sure you have some proper UVs. Make sure that your uh, cap, as far as the distribution mesh, is isolated to just where you have the guides. And play around with some of those distribution methods to get the best ones. Probably uniform and or vor vertex based are going to be good. Um, and then down in interpolation, you can kind of play with these interpolation values. Uh, as well as with parting. Uh, I can see here that down the middle I have some crossing so you know I might want to go in and uh, and create an actual part. Okay I hope that helps you with some of your hair creation and styling. Thank you very much.